Hello, my name's Brian, and welcome to Overland Calling. Take a little trail break. I figure it'd be a good a time as any to kind of film this. I've been wanting to do it for a while. It's called Gaia for Dummies. If you think Gaia is too hard to understand, too complicated, too much stuff to learn, well, hold on. You may want to watch this. I'm going to show you my dumbed down, simplified version of using Gaia. For me, it's been key because I'm not into the whole tech thing. Now, Gaia has a lot going on. Like, it's a pretty powerful program. It can do a lot of stuff. We're not gonna talk about most of that today. Because at its core, guess what Gaia is? It's a map. Now, I may not know much, but I know how to use a map. So, we're gonna dig in, sit back, enjoy the view, and try and figure out the funnest way to get back to civilization. So, all right, let's see if I can do this without falling down the Grand Canyon. Yes, that is the Grand Canyon behind me, North Rim. But that's a different video. So at its very core, Gaia is a map. Never forget that. That's the key to making everything understandable and make sense. All right, kick things off here, open up Gaia. It always takes me to some random location. I can hit the little sideways arrow button here and it'll zoom in on my location. You've also got this top bar here that you can populate with tons of stuff, whatever you like best. Elevation is always a good one. It's always nice to know how high up you are. All right, right below that find me button is this little sandwich looking thing. That's how you set up your map layers. When I'm in National Forest, I always make sure and have the MVUM up. That's the motor vehicle use map. That shows me the legal roads that I can drive on. I can adjust it either up or down. If I want to add a map layer, I just go into add map layers, look at wildfires. Then I hit the add button. It shows in my inactive layer map. Then I just click the little up button and that'll add it into my current map. If I want it to go back down, I just hit that X and that'll take it out of the selection. In the map layer screen is a button for save offline maps. If you're going out in the wilds, there's a pretty good chance you're not gonna have cell phone reception. So you're gonna need to download your maps in advance. Just take these little blue tabs here. You use them to set your area and in the upper right hand corner, you've got the save button. Upper left is the cancel if you don't want to save it. Funny note, since testing Starlink in motion, I actually don't download maps anymore. It's been my biggest change to off-road exploring. So if I want to add a waypoint, let's say this first little jaunt right here, that this is a campsite. I want to mark that. I just go into save. I always select a custom icon. The little tent is my symbol for camping. Go into back. It does give it this really weird default name, which I don't use. I just add in whatever custom, you know, labeled name I want to put on it. I can also have it go to a specific folder. Usually I try and do everything within a state. And I can also add notes. You can actually add photos to it. So if you want to add a photo, a picture says a thousand words. So a lot of times what I'll do, say for example, I don't know, I want to get to this outlook point here. I'll just figure out where I'm at. And then I'm gonna just follow the roads up, just like I would a paper map. When I get to an intersection, I'll stop, take a peek, see which direction I need to go to route myself over there. Say I get here and I need to go find gas. Well, I've already got a gas spot marked way up here, but I can navigate around all these different roads. Is it a bit of a pain? Yeah, it is, just a little bit, but I don't mind. I mean, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not going 80 miles an hour down the road, traveling along at less than 20 miles an hour. All right, that's it. Gaia, quick and dirty. I hope this helped. If it did, please smash that like button. Let me know this kind of stuff helps. Um, if not, I won't waste my time making it. Till next time, enjoy the ride.